Hello there YouTube, ManicX here with my latest editing tutorial for my Academy uh, of Editing playlist and today I'm looking at two um, things in particular, I'm looking at um, video resizing and how to get multiple videos um, onto one video project. So open up here in my preview window is the Spyro 2 race that is currently being edited and as you can see there is one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight perspectives. That's eight separate video files that have had to be imported and obviously when I imported them they didn't come into Sony Vegas this size I had to make that myself and that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So let's start a new project first set this to 30 or 60 for frame rate remember and your width and height you probably want to be 1920 by 1080 I'm also going to set my preview to auto um, as it speeds up the program when it's on best quality it can slow down the program horribly so first of all I'm just going to open some footage and I'm going to pick mine first so let's say I was editing the Spyro 2 race all over again I want to click no here and I've got the video here so I'm also because we're going to be working with multiple videos, I'm going to name the track name and I'm going to call this Manic Vid and this one Manic Ord. So that it's easy to know when I highlight them what is what. Um, but let's say now I want uh, Hamukan's footage in as well next. I would go to right click on here and insert video track. We don't need to insert audio track, that will come automatically when we open the file. So then Control O or file open and get Hamukan's footage. And again I want to call this ham vid and hamord so I know what this is. But as you can see now that I've got Hamukan's footage in I now can't see my footage because it's underneath. So if I turn the opacity down um, and move it to here for example because I was on the load screen at that point you can see that Hamukan's footage is blocking mine but what happens if I want multiple footages in at once um, without this happening well here's what you need to do I'm just going to delete these tracks you just highlight them and delete or you can right click on them and click delete and here's what I'm going to do I, I obviously for a race footage now you may not want to do this uh, if, if you don't want to do this then, then this isn't important but I'm assuming you'll want the screens to be similar sizes and the way that you change the size of the video is there's the event pan and crop option over here but I don't like to use that one except for masking which will be done in a future tutorial but there's also the much more useful track motion um, button over here which I'll be using to resize but before I resize um, the video I obviously want um, mine and Hamukan's to be uh, similar size so the way I'm going to do that I'm just going to let me, I'm just going to get off here so I can go to here and control O and o open up um, Hamukan's um, or your second footage that you want to be the same size like so uh, I'm just going to shrink this a little bit so now we've got two footages yeah one here and one here um, but they're obviously not on at the same time so here's what I want to do to make sure they're the same size I want to first of all click on overlays and that will give me a grid so I can see how uh, big the, far, uh, the the video screen is going to be. Then click track motion, and then I'm going to shrink. All you have to do to shrink is you uh, find a corner and a circle up here, and it will shrink towards the center like so. Um, if you see the video shrinking funnily, uh, it might be because you've got lock aspect ratio unchecked. If lock aspect ratio is unchecked, this will happen. Just watch the preview screen. I can now change the size to. To, to, to any aspect ratio which you may want and if you do want that then uncheck at lock aspect ratio I don't so I'm going to press ctrl z to go back and relock the aspect ratio so it stays at 4 to 3 I'm then going to move um, my footage up into this corner that should do it okay so then what I'm going to do so that mine and Hamukan's footage both appear now I'm going to right click here and click duplicate track to make two of them now this one you'll notice is called copy of manic vid this is the one we want to use so i'm going to move this one up and i'm going to rename this um, to um, hamukan vid i'll also want another audio track 
So I can go to insert audio track. And I'm just going to drag, to drag just click on it and drag up or down. And I'm going to put that underneath Hamook and Vid. Um, the reason being is because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, shrink my footage. So this is Hamookans here. I'm going to shrink my footage so that it's almost not visible. That won't even appear on the video, it's that small. Then I'm going to drag Hamookans footage to here. We've still got the problem of his footage blocking mine. So the way that we fix this is I then go on to track motion here, click on his um, um, box and then I can use the arrow keys or I can use my mouse to drag and I'm just going to drag him across. And let's say I want to put his screen over here. So now we have two identical screen sizes both active at the same time. So we still have the problem though now that Hamukan's audio is over here along with his old video. To, to get rid of this so that we can have his audio in the correct place I want to go to right click and I want to um, click group and remove from group or you can actually just click uh, on the video and press U. I can now delete his video there and his audio will still be here. I then just click on his audio and drag it to here. Now because the video was the same length as the other video, his audio will be perfectly in sync with that video above. So you, what will happen is your audio track will turn red like that. It, see how the video's turned red, sorry? That, that shows that the audio is not in sync with the video. Uh, drag that across and now it's turned back to its normal colour, it's in sync. Alright, so just to end the video, if you just like I've done with that, uh, Hamukan's footage. If I wanted to do it with as many as eight footages like I've done before, I'd do the exact same thing, uh, except instead of just having Hamukan's footage start here, I'd put everybody's there, get them all to the same size, and then drag them, uh, duplicate the tracks, and then drag them to the correct places. And that's how you do it. Um, I'll very quickly show you how to resize with Event Pan and Crop in case that is how you want to do it. You just click on Event Pan and Crop, and then you can actually use this to drag but as you can see like if you try and make this smaller all it does is it zooms in to a specific point in the video it doesn't actually change the shape it just makes it can be used to make something zoomed in or zoomed out is a better way of describing event pan and crop as opposed to resizing so i'd highly advise not to bother using that method for resizing so yeah that's this video done um i hope it has been uh, helpful to you um, and see you on the next lesson where I'll be showing um, you how to mask videos uh, or, or objects.